So judging from the final episode of Miraculous Season 5, Lila is set to be the new Hawk Moth, coming into the next season of Miraculous, whenever that may be. Now I was sitting down thinking about Miraculous and I thought to myself, shouldn't next season have been easy for Lila? Like we can think about this properly, Lila is not stupid, she is no Gabriel Agrest. If given the correct information, she will use it, and she will use it probably pretty well. And the problem was, in Revelation, she wasn't given the correct information. And I have a theory, and let me share it with you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's get right on into it. Do you guys remember in Revelation when Lila got akumatized purposely into Hoaxer? And by the way, I don't know why Gabriel akumatized her. Come on, that was the stupidest thing he could have done. Anyway, when she got akumatized, she sent out a message to Natalie to force her to give up all of Gabriel's secrets. And she obliged. Natalie snapped up all the pictures of Emily, the old Gabe pictures with the bad hairstyles, all of that good stuff, even the miraculous book. But what about the miraculous identities? Isn't that one of Gabe's secrets? If you don't remember, in Optigami, they used a whole diagram of all the Miraculous users, bar four of them. I think bar Miss Hound, Minotaurox, Capricid, and Rooster. Plus Ladybug and Cat Noir, of course. And they used this info to their advantage. If you think about it properly, if Natalie had actually taken a picture of that, which she should have, because that is one of Gabe's secrets, and sent it to Lila, the next season of Miraculous would have been over pretty fast. As I said before, Lila's smart. Lila would have used this information to her advantage, and pretty much won within the first two episodes, taking the Miraculous back one at a time, and ambushing the heroes one by one, knowing their true identities. Was this a mistake by the writers, or was this just plot armour? Let me know what you think in the comments section, and let me know what you think is going to happen in the next season of Miraculous. If you enjoyed today's video, watch this video on the screen where I react to the little mermaid. I'll see you in the next one, folks.